Hey guys, John here from FlyingMikeAlpha.com, and today we're going to talk about unusual attitudes. We're going to start with a nose-high unusual attitude, and this is where your instructor or the DPE is going to make the airplane do all sorts of weird things while you're under the hood or under these foggles, and you can only see the instruments. So it's just purely by reference to instruments, he'll ask you to lower your head, put your head down, close your eyes, and then at some point after he's turned the airplane and done some pretty crazy things, he's going to say, go ahead and recover. Just let go of the flight controls and see if you can recover the aircraft just by reference to instruments. Now on a nose high unusual attitude, here's some tips. He's probably going to leave the aircraft nose high, partially power reduced, so he's going to want to see you apply full power. You're going to be at or near a stall, so you're going to need a lot of right rudder on recovery, and he's probably going to be trimming way nose up so that you have to really push and fight to get that nose down to an attitude or an angle attack where the aircraft won't stall. He's going to make coordinated and uncoordinated turns to really confuse you, and then all of a sudden, he's just going to say, look up and recover. And he'll expect full power, so you start climbing away from the ground, getting a positive rate of climb established and increasing airspeed, and leveling the wings. Most important part, level the wings first, get power in there, keep the airplane flying, don't let it stall, and get the thing climbing. And then, go ahead and undo the trim that the instructor or the DPA just messed with you on, because you're really going to be fighting against that trim tab. Now the next thing the DP is going to do with you or your instructor practicing for the check ride is going to be nose low unusual attitudes. Nose low unusual attitudes need immediate attention. The wings must be level for the airplane to climb. Therefore, your number one priority, getting those wings level and getting the nose up on the horizon. He's probably going to leave some power in there and when the nose is low when you're diving towards the ground, you're going to want to go ahead and reduce that power until you get the nose even with the horizon and slightly rising, recovering from the dive and then adding full power as you recover from that dive, increasing right rudder as you recover, so you can actually get a positive rate of climb going away from the ground. That's the whole idea here, is get away from the ground, level the wings, get a positive rate of climb going. So we cleared our area, we're going to go ahead and start making some crazy turns, and remember, nose down unusual attitude, probably going to be trimming your nose down to confuse you even more. So he'll ask you to put your head down, close your eyes. He's going to go ahead and probably mess with your trim. Might even stall the airplane once or twice to mess with you and confuse you as to where you're at. It's just like a big old roller coaster ride. Now remember, during a check ride, if you really mess this one up, it's a good time, or if you're uncomfortable, to ask for a discontinuance and ask for a bark bag if it's actually making you sick. Because this does make a lot of people sick. likely he'll get the airplane really slow right before he lets it fall and says, recover. Level those wings and raise that nose. Raise the nose aggressively. Aggressively raise the nose. And with that nose down trim, you're really going to be pulling back like crazy. Once the airplane's established on a positive climb and you're gaining airspeed and altitude, then you can go ahead and fix your trim. Until then, fight it. Don't try to make it easier on yourself during the recovery. Very nice recovery. You can go ahead and just uh, go into level flight. Uh, right. We'll take a 360 heading uh, while you're under the hood and about 21, 2200 RPM to level off. And 3,000 feet will work perfect. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much for sharing us on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites. If you have any questions about the video at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on our video, and you can subscribe to us to keep up with all our latest episodes right over here on the right. Also, check out some of these other helpful videos below, and remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.